Good evening. Good evening. This is the day that we open our doors to welcome those who we see every week, welcome those who come less often, welcome those who come but once a year, and to welcome those who cannot be here physically but join us in spirit. Welcome all on this blessed Christmas day. Please stand and share a greeting with one another in the spirit of Christmas joy. Our entrance hymn is O Come All Ye Faithful. this Christmas Eve, I come to welcome you and uh, to tell you that truly our salvation is born this night. And indeed, Virginia, there is a Santa Claus. <laughs> and we begin as we begin everything in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. My sisters and brothers, as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we pause and reflect on the times that we have turned from God's love, and we pray for God's forgiveness and strength. Lord Jesus, you are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs>
us pray. O God, who have made this most sacred night radiant with the splendor of the true light, grant, we pray, that we, who have known the mysteries of his light on earth, may also delight in his gladness in heaven, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Upon those who dwelt in the land of gloom, a light has shone. You have brought them abundant joy and great rejoicing as they rejoice before you as at the harvest as people make merry when dividing spoils. For the yoke that burdened them, the pole on their shoulder, and the rod of their taskmaster, you have smashed as on the day of Midian. For every boot that trampled in battle, every cloak rolled in blood, will be burned as fuel for flames. For a child is born to us, a son is given us. Upon his shoulder dominion rests. They name him Wonder Counselor, God Hero, Father Forever, Prince of Peace. His dominion is vast and forever peaceful. From David's throne and over his kingdom, which he confirms and sustains by judgment and justice, both now and forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. The word of the Lord.
A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Titus. Beloved, the grace of God has appeared, saving all and training us to reject godless ways and worldly desires and to live temperately, justly, and devoutly in this age as we await the blessed hope the appearance of the glory of our great God and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us to deliver us from all lawlessness and to cleanse for himself a people as his own, eager to do what is good. The word of the Lord. be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. In those days a decree went out from Caesar Augustus that the whole world should be enrolled. This was the first enrollment when Quirinius was governor of Syria. So all went to be enrolled each to his own town. And Joseph too went up from Galilee from the town of Nazareth to Judea to the city of David that is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house and family of David, to be enrolled with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. While they were there, the time came for her to have her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him in swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them at the inn. Now there were shepherds in that region living in the fields and keeping the night watch over their flock. The angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone round them. And they were struck with great fear. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I proclaim to you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For today, in the city of David, a Savior has been born for you who is Christ and Lord. And this will be a sign for you. You will find an infant wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was a multitude of the heavenly host with the angel praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to those on whom his favor rests. This is good news, the gospel of the Lord. May the words of the be We come together this evening to celebrate the memorial of the birth of Jesus Christ. And so we've heard the stories in the, the readings, we've heard them over and over, 
There's nothing new that we hear. We see because of our joy, the, the magnificent display of, of flowers as a sign of our joy. We see the, the nativity scene set up in the church. We see all of these things that remind us that because we are so loved, so immeasurably and unconditionally loved, by Almighty God, that his very word became flesh, became human like one of us, to bring to us the word of God and to bring to us the example of how to live God's will, which ultimately, through Jesus' unconditional love, that very love of God that generated him would be our invitation into God's kingdom, that he would be indeed our salvation. And so we know what we celebrate and we're reminded that Perhaps it's a great time in the midst of this celebration to check and make sure that each one of us, you and me, are following exactly what we celebrate to the very best of our ability. That we live our lives with the same characteristics of that babe whose birth we celebrate our kindness, our gentleness, our love, our understanding, our tolerance of others, our integrity of our lives, the way that we treat one another. Is that reflected in what we do each day? Because that is what we celebrate. We celebrate that, that this child has come to offer us the words to guide us and the example to lead us in those very characteristics. That's what we come to celebrate. We come to celebrate that, that this birth of Jesus is not an ending. It's not the conclusion of the story. It's the beginning of the story. And it is the encouragement, the challenge that we are each offered to be those people who live, live following the example and the words of Jesus, the very Son of Almighty God. We express our belief in the Trinity when we pray, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God. He came down from heaven, and by the power of the Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. We stand this evening in the glorious presence of Christ who came into the world to bring salvation to the sinner. 
And so let us turn now to God and pray for the needs of our world. For the church, that we may be ever filled with joy and radiate the light of Christ in all we say and do, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For peace on earth, may God bring to all peoples and nations an end to darkness, division, and oppression, and a new dawn of justice and freedom, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our families, may this season strengthen the bonds of love, heal old wounds, allow us to forgive, and bring all of us closer to God and to one another, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are hungry, homeless, ill, depressed, lonely, or grieving, may God's great love for all people work through our actions so that no one may feel forgotten or unloved, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For members of the military, emergency service personnel, and all who are away from home during the Christmas season, that God will fill their hearts with peace and reunite them with loved ones in the new year, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for our deceased loved ones, so greatly missed at Christmas time, may they share in the everlasting banquet with all the angels and saints. We remember especially Rosalie Doherty, Colonel Race Roberson, Stephen Conroy and Catherine and great-grandson James Kellett, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God and source of light, your eternal word has come down from heaven and now your church is filled with wonder at the nearness of our God. Graciously hear the prayers we offer and grant them according to your will through Christ our incarnate Lord. Amen. Amen.
sisters and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the offerings of this feast be pleasing to you, O Lord, we pray, that through this most holy exchange we may be found in the likeness of Christ, in whom our nature is united to you, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For in the mystery of the Word made flesh, a new light of your glory has shone upon the eyes of our mind, so that as we recognize in him God made visible, we may be caught up through him in love of things invisible. And so with angels and dark angels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. <laughs> Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up. For you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me the mystery of faith we Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Joseph, our Bishop, all the bishops, clergy, religious, and people gathered here. We ask you to remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. 
welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, St. Bartholomew, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, that we who are gladdened by participation in the feast of our Redeemer's Nativity may, through an honorable way of life, become worthy of union with Him who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I would mention to you that as you leave the church, we invite you to take a bulletin which contains a great deal of information about the many events coming up in our 75th anniversary year. And we invite you to take a copy of the book, How Holy Moments, as our gift to you. And as we enter the new year, we pray that you will be able to find more time to feed and nurture your souls. We also hear that when when we sing, we pray twice. So we've prayed about five or six times. Thank you so much. What a magnificent job, don't you think? And lastly, from those of us who, who work and minister here at St. Bartholomew from from our hearts and from our homes to your hearts and your homes. A very, very blessed, peaceful, and joyful Christmas. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us bow our heads for God's blessing, answering amen to each one. May the God of infinite goodness, who by the incarnation of his Son has driven darkness from the world and by that glorious birth has illumined this most holy night. Drive far from you the darkness of vice and illumine your hearts with the light of virtue. Amen. Amen. May God who will that the great joy of his son's saving birth be announced to shepherds by the angel. Fill your minds with the gladness he gives and make you heralds of his gospel. Amen. And may God who by the incarnation brought together the earthly and heavenly realm fill you with the gift of his peace and favor and make you sharers with the church in heaven. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and each other. Thanks be to God.
Christmas.